Hello everyone! First of all, inspect the body of a used crossover. Although you are unlikely to find traces of corrosion on two to three year old specimens. If rust still shows through in some places, turn around and leave. Even a good bargain here would not be appropriate, just the car was poorly restored after the accident. Do you need to invest in such good? It is better to look for a more attractive option in this regard. However, over time, you need to be prepared for the fact that after 5 to 7 years of operation, chips and scratches will appear on the hood, wheel arches and seals. After all, the CRV paint rock is not particularly durable. But there should be no metal corrosion or paint swelling. Honda's dubbed side galvanic coating is resistant and durable. With age, the swivel joints of the windshield wiper mechanism can turn sour. Although usually a trapezoid can be developed using spatial fluids, such as WD-40. Although check how the doors close and open. Door locks on the CRV are traditionally weak and can fail soon. This car, by the way, can be called a technical dude. In other words, we have before us a model embodied in innovative solutions. For example, even in the tubes, through which the washer fluid flows from the tank to the nozzles, microscopic filters are installed. It is said that in our conditions, they quickly become clogged and many simply remove them. It's no longer possible to do this with engines. There is nothing superfluous here. The engines are extremely reliable, but equally scrupulous in terms of fuel quality and service. By the way, it is recommended to change the oil in them every 10,000 km. Although many prudent owners do this operation twice as often. And not in vain, the fools have two thin piston rings, which quickly coke from rancid oil and, as a result, lie down. Therefore, servicemen recommend replacement after 6,000 to 8,000 km of run. If the deformation of the rings does occur, the oil consumption will immediately increase, which can lead to very unpleasant consequence. Now consider each of the motors separately. The base R20A unit is equipped with an intake phase change system and a variable intake manifold geometry. But at the same time, it does not have hydraulic compensators in the valve drive. They are regulated by the selection of washers every 40,000 km. Although in reality this operation may be required after 100,000 km or even more. Approximately the same resource, up to 150,000 km, is also at the engine mounts. And as a rule, the left one is the first to be rented. The rear one can withstand a little longer, but it also costs twice as much. Also at risk are spark plugs and ignition coils, as well as a converter and oxygen sensors. After 150,000 km, the timing chain can stretch. The engine starts to throw it and lazily picks up speed, and when starting on the cold one, it makes specific sounds. Similar symptoms in K24A1. This motor is the result of the modernization of the K24A unit, which was installed on its predecessor. It is equipped with a variable valve timing system on the intake and exhaust shafts, as well as adjustable valve lift. The main source of the 2.4 liter 4 are the same as those of the 2 liter. Moreover, most of the congenital source, such as the failing time clutch, were still cut on the predecessor model. It must be remembered that original parts for Honda are by no means cheap. True, and they have quite a decent resource. It's also declared for the variator. However, this box causes a lot of controversy among most Russian motorists and is considered not reliable enough. I immediately remembered the Russian presentation of the model when the Japanese presented the fifth generation of the CRV. One of the speakers then said that for the Russian market they chose the most reliable and technological unit available in their arsenal. After such a statement, a flurry of questions ran down from journalists regarding the durability and problems of the variator during operation in Russian conditions. 
to which the representative of the company calmly repeated the phrase said before and added that the box is noticeably superior in reliability to similar units from other brands. For some reason, I immediately believed the speaker. Such a representative gentleman cannot brazenly lie from a high rostrum. Be that as it may, according to Russian statistics, so far not a single case of failure of the varietal of the fifth generation CRV has yet been recorded. The fact is that Honda produces all its gearboxes and transmissions itself, and it does it very efficiently and scrupulously. This is a rarity in the automotive industry. Therefore, I am almost sure that the variant on Honda crossovers is distinguished by good health and endurance. They say that even provocations manifested in a torn and assertive driving style cannot put him out of action. The clutch has also become more reliable. However, from long sleeping in mood or snow, it overheats. To extend its service life, it is recommended to change the oil in the clutch and gearboxes every 40,000 km. As for the suspension of the CRV, it is borrowed from the 7th generation Civic, but reinforced due to the increased weight of the crossover. Moreover, due to the compactness of the rear elements of the chassis, it was possible to significantly increase the volume of the trunk. Suspension parts go for a long time. For example, even stabilizer struts often withstands up to 70,000 to 100,000 km and levers, ball bearings and silent blocks last even longer. Shock absorbers will probably have to be changed closer to 150,000 km, naturally with a neat and calm driving style. But the driving style usually does not affect the reliability of electrical equipment, which is problem-free on the CRV. Unless a regular battery of small capacity and compact size is discharged quite quickly. True, in recent years, batteries of a larger capacity similar in size have appeared on the sale. Therefore, the fifth generation of the Honda CRV can't be safely called a reliable and durable car. Some concerns are caused only by the variator, with which our compatriots have developed far from the warmest relations. However, this box has not presented any problems yet. Although the oldest copies of the crossover have already turned four years old, if the variator shows its best side, then the car can be completely attributed to be rank of the absolute, that is, practically hassle-free. If you ever had such a model, share information about what and how it breaks in the comments.